Welcome back to Let's Play The Evil Within 2. I'm Burning Dog Face, and I'm trapped in this room. Well, I don't like this. I thought there was something on that windowsill. I just don't see anything that I can interact with at all. Ooh, frame rate. Okay, A didn't do anything. Just checking! How the balls do I get out of here? God damn you! Alright, fine. I will hug a wall. Like this is a maze or something. So I can be sure I've seen everything this room has to offer. Uh, I didn't even see that. Huh. Letter from Police Chief, date November 17th, 2014. Jim here. Just a quick note to give you an update in the Castellanos Beacon situation. We're sending Sebastian in for mandatory counseling. The beacon incident needs to be kept under wraps, and the good detective is our only loose end. Great. So your boss is a piece of shit. Uh, we have many operatives in KCPD, but not enough to ensure total information blackout. Fortunately, our staff psychologist is on the organization's payroll. Once you determine how much Castellanos knows, we can easily install instill self-doubt through these sessions. That's fucked up. When we're through with him, Sebastian won't be sure if what he witnessed at Beacon was real. Not that he needs much help, he's been stumbling through his assignments like a zombie. Poor son of a bitch is obviously having trouble dealing with whatever happened to him in there. I almost feel bad for, the, for him. I've known the guy for over a decade, it's like he's a different person now. But that's the price of uh, progress. If you want to make an omelette, you gotta break an egg or two. James Van Kirk, KCPD. Kidman was right. They are everywhere. They were right under my nose the entire time. A way out? Don't say that. Ruvik. Ruvik and Leslie. Can't make that out heads or tails of that. Well, there's Kidman. I think that was the scene where she shot Joseph. I forgot about that scene, by the way. She didn't act. I was. Con that, that's what confused me with the boss fight and that DLC in the first place. Trapped. Can't get out. What is this? Still here. Can't leave. Nothing changes. The one up in the upper, uh... That one is, uh... The good doctor's brother from the first game, who turned into a zombie when he was, uh, autopsying the guy who then reached out and grabbed me. It's like a part of Sebastian has been, uh... Trapped here this entire time. Like he said, a part of me doesn't... A part of me wonders if I ever made it out, and once again, we're in the Laura room, I've just realized. My fault. It's all my fault. What the hell is this? Can't move on. Can't move on. of my pain is me the part of me still stuck in stem never getting out no i'm wrong i will get out 
But without you... What was that? It felt different than the others. More real. Like something changed. That was a hell of a metaphor, Sebastian. I feel... Good. Huh. My trusty revolver. I haven't seen you in a long time. Hmm. Achievement unlocked. Finally free. And that's the logo for Beacon Mental Hospital. Experienced every traumatic encounter and made peace with your inner demons. Holy shit! Can you imagine how much easier therapy would be if you could solve your mental issues by shooting them in the face? I guess now we know what the fucking minecarts for, since they were disposing of corpses in bulk. That's not something I can pick up, it's just a, uh, label. Let's get the hell out of this room. So a part of Sebastian's mind... ...subconsciously believed that he was still trapped in STEM, and that nothing would ever get any better, and that's what was making him go... Progressively nuts over the last uh, three years. Is that what they're is suggesting? I mean the alcoholism probably didn't help let's be honest I'm gonna try to predator stab this guy Hell yeah I was kind of hoping it would bring back the old sound effect. Revolver. Sebastian's sidearm of choice. It's less accurate than the semi-automatic handgun, but it does more damage. It uses the same ammunition as the semi-automatic handgun. Actually, I haven't looked at it yet. Let's not do that. Approach from the other side. Be more behind him. I think I can do that if I go that way. Oh, right. That's a nice reward for that. This is the whole thing is meant to be a uh, nostalgia trip of sorts to the first game. I had totally forgotten about those guys with the big beams on their backs and the hooks all over their body. I hated them. What the hell was that?! Now, I am actually mad. Fucking piece of shit. I was mashing A, the icon was on the screen, and nothing was happening because another guy dropped from the fucking sky and looked at me. But he was, like, standing here-ish? And I figured he would see me if I approached from that angle. But they punished me by taking the shorter route. I looped around to take the shorter route. Man. Wow. 
One-handed Sebastian? Although it is the old game's reticle, which is nice. Give me that fucking thing. Did he aim one-handed in the first game? I didn't think so. That's all I can think of that that's a reference to. Where the fuck am I going? I'll go to the two-door. You know there's an achievement for successfully pulling off the predator move. Hmm. All right. Oh, I've been here. Right, yeah. This is the one where I got that uh thing. I just I guess I just hadn't found that thing there yet. Or maybe not. I don't know. All I know is there's nothing useful in here now. So, uh, unless there's a ghost. Oh, no, no statue there. This thing is a refrigerator unit, but it's not on, so this room must stink. Obviously, it makes no sense since they, you know, replaced the voice actor in the first place. But how wild would it have been if uh, those lines from the comatose Sebastian duplicate were uh, voiced by, uh, oh, I forgot his name, the guy from the first game. Anson Mount, that's what it was. Oh, this, you know what this actually really, really reminds me of? The, uh, the bit in the first Dead Space game where you go to the morgue to find the captain's body just as it's being turned into a necromorph. Just because it's, like, it's super dark and there's a light coming from behind. Swear to God, if these guys all sit up at some point, I'm going to lose my shit. What do we have here? I'm not sure I want to know. Actually, scratch that, I'm definitely sure I want to know. I don't want to know. Ah, oh, hell. Almost there. So there's that. I'm gonna read this before I push that big red button. Computer file, operative case. Our worst fears have been realized. The lost phenomenon has spread to Mobius operatives. We had theorized that the transformations were a result of memory overwrite, but no operatives have been overwritten. Uh, we were able to quarantine and terminate an affected Mobius operative before he could transform. Perhaps his exposure to so many lost corpses in the pit made him susceptible to whatever is causing this. Perhaps it's merely a coincidence. We are harvesting his Unity Cerebral chip in the hopes that it will provide new data. Removal of intact Cerebral chips is possible with the extraction device. It's a relatively simple and automated process. Merely place the subject on the gurney and enter the extraction device's activation code 0128. If they haven't removed this guy's chip yet, I can use it to get through that door and find Hoffman. Noted. I'm going to do both of those numbers. What was it? I can't read it here. It was zero, 01... Zero, 0128. Okay. Oh, okay. There's a bunch of different numbers, and... Yeah, those are the wrong ones. Okay, fine. I guess it's like that puzzle from the first game where I had to stab a brain in the right spot. Like, there were a bunch of other options, but none of them were the correct answer. Okay, let's see what happens.
Racing. You know, I thought for sure he was going to scream, and the, the twist would be that he was still alive. Unity Serim... Huh. I just noticed the logo up there. It's Mobius Bios. I guess that's a 2. MB-102. Huh. Unity Cerebral Chip. This electronic chip was implanted in the brain of a Mobius operative. Oh. Thank God he's already dead. I gotta get out of this lab. Okay. I was gonna try entering a different number, but the power is out, so okay. You win. Don't like that. Well, it's not blue, so it's not anima. Okay, I am able to gun again. Oh good, they're everywhere. Wait, the choking noise! There's a lament in here! still here. You were gone a moment ago. Right, I guess reloading would have to be faster than it would really be with a revolver, since all uh, pistols share the same reload time upgrades. Oh! Damn it! Still felt like it took twice as long as the walking animation, uh, the walking reload animation. Oh, standing up straight has its advantages. You're never gonna let me stab someone. Didn't I just murder you? Come on, see the shadows moving on the wall? What could that be? Turn around! Move closer this way, and then turn around again. It'll be great. I don't believe for a second you're gonna stay there all day.
moved on. Thought there was an achievement for that. I don't think I did it already. I'm also not looking forward to fighting the thing after I... Even if I successfully stab that thing, it ain't gonna die. Forgot that earlier. Lore. I'll read this, and that will be the end of the video. The phenomenon has become more prevalent. We have dedicated the entire laboratory wing of the Marrow to studying it. Citizen transformations have become quick, violent, and even more obscene. They are mutating into forms that can't even be considered humanoid. They have lost any semblance of humanity altogether. We have dubbed these affected citizens the Lost. We have determined that the last phase before metamorphosis involves the belief that they are being pursued by some invisible but inescapable force. Once they have succumbed to this force, their transformation begins. STEM is an artificial construct. There are no viruses, bacteria, or contagion here. The lost phenomenon is therefore a mental process. We are still in the dark as to how it spreads and to whom it will spread next. Perhaps the trigger was present in the subjects before they ever entered STEM. Further research is needed. So... What the fuck is Anima, if even Mobius doesn't know she exists? It's like the only people she can see are the ones she wants to be her victims. Oh, right. Before I do that... I'm Burning Dogface, and I'll see you on the next episode of Let's Play The Evil Within 2. When we, uh, deal with all of these lost... And figure out where the hell Huffman went. Later?